The newest Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs are built on AMD's RDNA 2 graphics architecture. But what is it all about? Hi, I'm Sean, your host for today's Quick Shorts, giving you a quick rundown on the all new RDNA 2 architecture by AMD. RDNA was the first of their 7 nanometer graphics architecture introduced in E3 2019, which has since evolved into RDNA 2. AMD's solution for delivering high performance graphics for the next gen of PCs and consoles such as the PS5 and the Xbox Series X and X. RDNA 2 continues to improve on its superior performance and power efficiency over GCN architecture. Where the previous RDNA has a 50% better performance per watt, RDNA 2 pushes it further to 54%. The new architecture features enhanced compute units, producing up to 30% higher clock speeds compared to older architecture. This can be seen in actual hardware with the RX 6800 having up to 1815 MHz in its base and up to 2105 MHz when boosted. Compared to the RX 5700 XT, which only has up to 1755 MHz base and up to 1905 MHz boosted. The Infinity Cache is a massive 128MB cache optimized for gaming workloads, allowing for a higher bandwidth performance at low power and low latency as claimed by AMD. Their tests show that when the 128MB Infinity Cache is integrated alongside the existing GDDR6, a 3.25 times increase in effective bandwidth is gained versus without the cache. The best approaches using Ryzen Zen architecture are applied here to future-proof their products. Moving on with the introduction of the Ray Accelerator or RA, which is a fixed-function ray tracing acceleration engine implemented as part of the RDNA2 architecture included in each compute unit. It delivers real-time lighting, shadow, and reflection realism through the RX ray tracing, specializing in calculating ray intersections. RA hardware-based ray tracing gets up to 13.8 times speed up at 471 FPS, in comparison to just using software implementation with the RX ray tracing at 34 FPS. And with RDNA2 tech, the RX 6000 series comes with AMD Smart Access Memory aka SAM which offers Ryzen 5000 series CPUs better gaming performance. Wherein CPUs are traditionally limited to a small 256MB window or data channel to communicate with the GPU, SAM removes a small window allowing the CPU direct access to wider source of GPU memory. At 4K across different games, enabling SAM has shown a range of 1-14% to increase in FPS. The development of RDN2 technology is an impressive jump for AMD, coming from mid-tier performance GPUs with their previous 5000 series, climbing all the way to the high end of GPU performance, being able to compete with NVIDIA's and Pure GPUs, which, if you want to know more about, is in our video linked on the top right or in the description below. And if you enjoy yourself some high-end gaming, hop onto our Facebook page where you can find the best deals on the best PC parts and gaming gear. Thanks, and see you next time!